Marvel Studios has just announced something that is going to completely change the MCU. Marvel Studios has just introduced new content to the MCU. And no, I'm not talking about a new show or a new movie, although yes, they are introducing a new show, but the format of the content is different. It's a new categorization for Marvel Studios that they're going to be grouping a lot of newer Disney Plus shows with. And I think some fans might actually find this pretty awesome, and it's definitely a strategy for Marvel Studios to kind of fight the superhero fatigue that some people may be experiencing right now with the MCU. And it's definitely a way to enjoy content a little bit more coming from Marvel Studios. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Warren and again I'm still kind of sick so part of my voice today. But I think Marvel Studios just came out with an amazing plan. They are introducing a new category to the MCU which they have called Marvel Spotlight. The shows that will come out for Marvel Spotlight and possible movies are still full on shows. And if their movies are going to be full on movies. These aren't specials or shorts or any Anything like that they're still full on projects but they have a very specific purpose a purpose that I think a lot of fans are going to find pretty refreshing and they announced this with the release of the Echo trailer yesterday which by the way looks fantastic and it's the first Marvel project to get a TVMA mature rating. I'm sure Daredevil is going to have the same especially since it involves Kingpin as well but Echo came out first so Echo is the first one in the MCU to get a TV mature rating and Echo is also the first project to fall under this category of Marvel Spotlight. There's some key things that you need to know about this that of course we'll break down in this video. But if you're new, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest MCU news. And if you subscribe and leave a comment, you're automatically entered in our monthly giveaway for a chance to win a PS5, an Xbox Series X, some Marvel Legends items, or some DC items. The winner gets to pick one item, and we pick one winner at the end of each month. So I'm sure everybody's biggest question is, will these Marvel Spotlight projects still connect to the MCU? And the answer is yes. However, these Marvel Spotlight projects serve a very specific point, and that point is you do not have to watch pretty much anything else that Marvel Studios has put out for the MCU to follow a Marvel Spotlight project. You can go in without knowing really anything about the MCU or any other project that has existed in the MCU. This is what Marvel Studios said about it. This is coming straight from Marvel.com when they released Echo. They stated, Echo will be the first series under the Marvel Spotlight banner. And head of streaming, Brad Winderbaum, said, Of the decision to launch a new banner with Echo, Marvel Spotlight gives us a platform to bring more grounded, character-driven stories to the screen. And in the case of Echo focusing on street-level stakes over larger MCU continuity. Just like the comics, fans didn't need to read Avengers or Fantastic Four to enjoy a Ghost Rider Spotlight comic. Our audience doesn't need to have seen other Marvel series to understand what's happening in Maya's story. So right away, let me know what you think about this. I think it's a pretty good plan because there are people out there who want to watch some Marvel projects, but they say, well, I haven't seen these other ones or I haven't seen this movie to really know what's going on. You hear it right now for Captain Marvel. You hear people say, well, I don't know who Miss Marvel is. I don't know who Monica Rambeau is because they didn't watch WandaVision or they didn't watch Miss Marvel. So now they're a little apparent to go see the Marvels because they don't know who these characters are. They don't know what the stories were before this leading up. We also heard this a little bit before and after Multiverse of Madness with people not having seen WandaVision. They went into Doctor Strange wondering all of a sudden why Wanda was a villain. For those who didn't watch the show, that kind of came out of nowhere to them. They didn't know about the Darkhold. They didn't know about Wanda holding Westview hostage. Now for the diehard MCU fans like myself and probably you, since you're watching this video, we typically watch everything. This isn't that big of a deal to us, but for the more casual audience, this is actually a pretty good strategy by Marvel Studios, and I think it's going to really help with the superhero fatigue that some people do experience. And I think this is just part of one change that Marvel Studios is really going to make. And they have already introduced the new intro for Marvel Studios Spotlight's projects, which you can see right now. This is clearly part of Marvel Studios' plan moving forward, not only for just a good strategy for the company, but I do believe it's still part of the MCU strategy and still part of Kevin Feige's plan. We'll talk about that in just a bit, but first, big thank you to Fume for sponsoring this video. 
Fume is a game changer for a lot of people in turning bad habits into good habits. A lot of people struggle with these bad habits, but Fume looks at these in a different way. Not everything in the habit is wrong. So instead of a drastic, uncomfortable change, why not just remove the bad from your habit? And that's exactly what Fume does. They're innovative and they're award-winning and they're a flavored air device. That's all it is. It's flavored air. So it has none of the bad things and the bad habit in it. Instead of vapor, it uses flavored air. Instead of electronics, Fume is completely natural. And instead of harmful chemicals, Fume uses delicious flavors. I had actually heard really great things about Fume from my friends who were struggling with some bad habits. They actually raved about it and how it helped them, which is why I agreed to partner with them. And they sent me some samples and they honestly are super refreshing and taste very flavorful and good. And it comes in beautiful real wood. And it's honestly really fun to just sit there and kind of fidget with if you're someone who likes to fidget like I do. And I know stopping is something we all put off because it's hard, but with Fume, it's easy and they have served over 150,000 customers and have thousands of success stories. And that could be you if you pick up a journey pack today. Head over to tryfume.com and use code COSMIC to save 10% off when you get the journey pack today. That's tryfum.com and use code COSMIC to save an additional 10% off your order today. Marvel Spotlight will also take care of a problem that a lot of fans have been complaining about recently, and that is a lack of connectivity to the larger MCU. And by simply labeling a project, putting it under the category of a Marvel Spotlight, that'll tell you right away, hey, this isn't really going to connect to that much overall. It's going to be a one-off standalone project that you can enjoy on its own. You don't have to see anything else to know what's going on, and you can just enjoy it. But at the same time, these projects Projects are still a part of the MCU. Don't get that confused. They still exist inside the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and Echo is a perfect example of that. They chose a good project to kick off Marvel Spotlight with. Because Echo was a good character in the Hawkeye series, although she wasn't the main character. Same with Kingpin. He was only introduced in the latter episodes. However, of course, it does connect to Hawkeye, and Hawkeye connects to the Avengers, etc., etc. And of course, we know that moving forward, Daredevil is going to be in the Echo. Echo series, and Kingpin, who is the villain of the Echo series, is also going to be the villain of the Daredevil series. So you can see this all still connects very heavily to the MCU. However, the story, the story of the entire series and of Echo is very secluded in the fact that you don't have to have watched those shows or the movies to know what's going on in the show. You can sit back, relax, and just enjoy a one-off story, but at the same time, the character could show up in the future, just in a way that's like, hey, here's Echo. You don't have to know the story that happened in the Echo series, but you know that Echo's a character and then she'll come in to be a part of a team. Or sometimes, maybe not. We don't know if Echo is going to go on to fight with Daredevil in the Daredevil series or be a part of the street level Avengers team. We don't know that. She could get her series and be done. And I think that's kind of the point of Marvel Spotlight is that they're going to do one off shows sometimes where it's just, hey, we're introducing this character. They don't necessarily go on to be a part of a bigger team, but they are a comic book character that a lot of people like and they're going to get their own show and it's going to be secluded and you're going to be able to watch it casually while at the same time having this character debut in the MCU does open up any character that's under Marvel Spotlight to appear later on in a way that makes it to where you don't actually have to know their backstory too much which again I think is a really good idea I think it's a great idea for Marvel to do this because I think it's going to exhaust people a little bit less in fact I think it's going to be refreshing for some people no pressure of having to watch anything before before, no pressure of guessing how it connects to the overall MCU or what comes after the show, but simply just watching a show for what it is, enjoying a story, and then after, you're done. Right now with Loki Season 2, although I am absolutely in love with it and I love theorizing what's coming next, a lot of people are saying, well, we only have one episode. What happens next? What happens in Kang Dynasty, Deadpool 3, Secret Wars? And while myself and a lot of people do love wondering what comes next, some people just want closure and a conclusion, and that's exactly what these Marvel Spotlight projects are based basically going to give us. So overall, it's a really great idea for Marvel Studios, but go ahead and let us know what you think about this in the comments down below. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Are you excited? Do you not care at all? Leave your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest news. You can follow us on Instagram and Twitter as well. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.